Americans began receiving federal stimulus checks this week, but the federal government is running out of money to help small businesses cover payroll during this pandemic. CBS News has learned that officials have already approved at least $338 billion in Paycheck Protection Program loans. Congress allocated $349 billion. The Trump administration says unless more money is authorized, it will have to stop processing the loans. And the latest reports on unemployment indicate millions more people have filed claims for jobless benefits in the past week. And there's no surprise there. Most of us are living under some form of a stay-at-home order. These restrictions are putting a huge strain on the country's economic health. In our series on the financial fallout from the coronavirus, we follow a dollar through the economy to see why many economists think the bottom could be a long way off. How are you guys doing? With so many Americans stuck inside these days, and how are you? very few of us are spending money like we used to. That's especially true for the millions of people now out of work. But what happens when there's suddenly so much social distancing with our dollars? I work for CBS. We're doing a story on the economy. If I keep my distance, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Yeah, all right, cool. Last month, Denise Milhouse lost her job as a home health aide in Brooklyn. I'm not spending money because I don't have no way to pay my rent. Did you have a favorite spot you would go to? Apollo, right up the block on J Street. <laughs> Apollo up here? Apollo, right yes. Yeah. So we walked over to her favorite diner, where she normally spends about $200 a month. Owner Mike Miserioti says he's worried that without income from customers like Denise, his business won't be able to survive. She'd love to continue spending money with you, but she lost her job, so she can't. I completely understand. She's yeah. in the same boat of whatever. 10, 10 or 20 of my other customers have told me every single day. Do you ever think that in the same way that Denise is one of those customers that means you can't go on, you, for somebody else, are one of those customers that means they can't Absolutely. go on? Absolutely. There's no way that I can ever recover from the economic hole that I'm in right now. The rent that I owe, the mortgage payments that I owe out, I'm fixing my business, the, my distribution bills, my utility bills. It's either that or Chapter 11. Among the cutbacks, Miseriotis is no longer spending hundreds of dollars each month at a nearby hardware store, where a manager told us business is down at least 30 percent. Cascading losses like these, bouncing from a home health worker to a hardware store, illustrate how one person's spending is another person's income. And when that spending dries up, the ripple effects can be endless. What are you drawing? In Collegeville, Pennsylvania, we found a similar chain starting with Gina Katona. Two members of her family are now out of work, so she'll have to put off plans to fix her broken down car. I was saving up to try to get it back. Um, I couldn't even afford to have it towed before the shutdown, before they lost their jobs. So now that they lost their jobs, it's never going to happen. And when her funds dried up, the local auto mechanic, Ryan Miller, lost his shot at a payday, too. If I'm losing income, then I have to start cutting back on any inventory I hold, which will in turn affect the different local part companies. Companies like Bob's Auto Parts, where Miller would normally spend up to $2,000 in a month. Not this month. And that impacts owner Debbie DiBattista, along with the people who work for her. I've had to make tough decisions, uh, unfortunately, lay off employees. And it's, it's daunting. It's, you know, it's a challenge. Every layoff is an individual disaster, but also part of a widening national crisis. As economist Hank Eskin has witnessed, cash connects us all. Have you, in your tracking, had bills travel to every state in America? Oh, yeah. Every state, every county in the country. Um... His website, Where's George, allows people to track the spread of money through the economy using the serial numbers on bills. He says since the virus struck, hits on Where's George are down about 50 percent, suggesting circulation is down, too. Uh, the ripple effect will probably last, I'm guessing, a generation or probably two generations. Uh, long after you know we're gone, it's still going to be recovering from this. For now, Debbie DiBattista says the stress is hard to bear, but there's solace in knowing she's not bearing it alone. It's not easy because it's no one's fault. My employees did nothing to deserve this. That repair shop did nothing to deserve it. The woman whose car broke down did nothing to deserve it. Everyone's working hard, and it's not like you're the only one. You're isolated. Talking to other businesses, other people, helps you feel like everybody has something in common. Like, this is something that we're all kind of united together to try to get through. Yep.
we really are all connected by this. And, and by the way, Debbie there, the auto parts mm -hmm. store owner, she has offered to donate parts to help fix Gina Katona's car, one link up the chain. And she says anything that she can do to help people like Gina, she knows will ultimately help her and will help her employees recover by, by kickstarting this cycle of business, Anthony. Yeah, a lot of charity out there, Tony. But I, I think according to one survey I saw, nearly three quarters of Americans say their income, their income is lower because of this. So this just it just ripples out so quickly, as you just showed in that story. Yeah. And, you know, it, it occurs to me that what's really important there is that some Americans who are in a position to keep on spending, I've been hearing from people who say, you know, I'm still paying the hair salon or I'm still paying the gym because I can do it and I know they need it right now. Mm -hmm. I love hearing stories like that. If there yeah. are people out there in, in their communities who are seeing that, that, that happening, go to our Facebook page. Let us know. I think it really brings us all together.